wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment, and you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. Your rig's impressive. How does it work? Well, like you said, the spike up there seems to capture the sound. It travels by wire down to my contraption. I, I put some coils in there and a light sheet of metal that vibrates, making the sound louder. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it just does. And you set it up out here all alone? I'm not the trusting type. Pretty much everything I do is all alone. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. Faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. The further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from one lost soul to another. I'd sure like to know what it means. You're no ordinary tinker. Didn't used to be a tinker at all. More of a metal worker. Came from Mainspring. I can well to seem so fine you could barely see it. Not that I ever got any credit for it. You see, up there, you've got to be a man to get ahead. I once had a shot at joining a first-rate crew, one of the best forges in the claim. But I didn't get the job. My own brother wouldn't vouch for me just because I'm of the female persuasion. Anyhow, at least out here I don't have to worry about any mainspring men talking down to me. Sounds like you're still mad at your brother. Some days I am. Other days, I miss him. He's passed on, you see. He didn't have the guts to go against the blast of the bellows and vouch for a lady. Even his own sister. It was cowardly. And I told him so. In fact, I told him we weren't family no more. But over time, I've had cause to regret it. He wasn't a bad sort. He knew how to make me smile. When he wasn't being such a lout. I'm... Sorry, he's gone. Yeah. So am I. <sighs> Blast it all. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Oh. Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not. But I am, in a way. Be right back. 
Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. Uh, and then please, just don't break anything. Hmm, this like a good die. Better get climbing. <laughs> Gotta give her credit, lugging all that wire up a cliff wall. <laughs> There's a spike. I get better reception if I'm next to it. Enduring victory. Interesting. Can't seem to get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well. Better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. This ought to be a good shortcut. Is picking up an old world message, a recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during a, a war, a bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh... I, I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you moved the rig now? Try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message... And let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller, the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Oh. Well, there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind, near a place I'm... Uh, camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Selga. And when you find it, Aloy... I'd be eager to hear what it is.
looks like a spear stuck in the sand. I remember my last trip to the hunting grounds. Blood, steel, honor. A tower should help me pinpoint Soda's signal. What's going on here? Close combat training. Fighting at long range is a good strategy for machines. But fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. I'm Lee Rocket. I run the training pit here in Scalding Spear. Only a few outlanders have ever made it out this far west. But from what I've heard, you're a pretty good fighter. You can train here if you like, but you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. And if you're looking to test your fighting skills, I also offer challenges. Complete all of them, and you'll get to go up against me. And what happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. If you earn marks from me and the pit masters of the Bulwark and Thorn March, you'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh's trainer? More than just a trainer. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among the clans. The master of masters. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? Yes. If you can beat all the pit masters. So, what will it be? Should you want to practice or take on a challenge, just let me know. Climb up to look for Silga's signal. But where to start?
keep climbing to pinpoint that signal. Almost there. Okay, let's see if I can pick up Silga's signal. yet. Climbing the mountain where my base is should finish the job. I see you, champion. Sit, please. Choosing the right rations can be just as important to your chance of survival as choosing the right weapons. If you want food that'll save your life out in the wilds, go northwest to Salt Bite. The cook there, Pintala, she'll whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, to knock or not. I'll make sure to pay her a visit if I'm out that way. Safe travels, champion. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. This mountain. The southern face is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Silka's message. Just gotta look for a path.
Gotta use something other than frost. Okay, now to pick up the signal. Where is the best spot? I should try to find a good spot to pick up Silga's message. signal's origin. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it.
interesting color for my armor. My focus is picking up the signal that's in the vault. I'm going to clear up the machines before I get to the source.
Faust isn't gonna do much. My focus is picking up the signal that Silga found. I'll need to clear out the machines before I can look for the source.
see if I can locate the source. To get rid of their leader. Maybe then the rest will retreat. There you are. Now, how to get to you? I should take a closer look. Search for another way in.
looks promising. Right, into the water. There you are. Now, what's inside? Paul. I couldn't read, Paul. I couldn't read you via focus. I hope this gets to you. Somehow. The only of the key for me to end at the river line. Just wanted you to know that all the bitterness is water under the bridge. I only remember the good things, and I'll think about them when the darkness comes. Sounds like she really cared about him. Silga will want to know about this. And she'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message. Aloy, the words stopped coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. That she'd be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat! To send messages? Near and far? Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. 
Thank you. Sometimes people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring, all the way to who knows where. Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these parts. Turned out well. Can't wait to try it. I see you, champion. Sit. Did you see those kids riding around on machines out west? You mean rebels? They didn't look like any rebels I've ever seen. I tried to follow them, but they were too fast. I'll keep my eyes open. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. Like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on. If you can do your thing, we learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh, okay. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Osaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. 
I'm pleased you have returned, and I see you have recovered Poseidon. Please proceed with the merge. Afterwards, I have a matter to discuss with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Eleuthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay. And what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Check it out when I can. Where have I seen these before?
Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Farrell looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. Did Gaia tell you anything about Zenith? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the... data you've collected, and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but... it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes, the Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. But Varl tells me that she, too, suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones. Including their demise, and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was... Surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? N not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. So... How does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakhs? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakhs looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakhs saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakhs with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru Plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms, Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. That couldn't have been easy, seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. 
My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zoa. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties. Sabotage their supply lines and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... ...not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled... ...I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to plain song. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves, or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Right, I should probably go. Is it true you're investigating a signal coming from one of Gaia's seedlings? Maybe. We'll know for sure when we check it out. Be careful. We will. Hey, Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. There she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. 
Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obvious... More Zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? What? It looked like Hello, she could make it come and go. It will. What do you have for me? I checked gone. everywhere. Still no sign of the asset. Yeah. Can well, we call off this thing. pointless search already? I'll wait here. Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. I think I see something. Crunch under my boots. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. The Nacht Rebels for Asaram and Zenith.
Have a look around. I'll wait here. Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah! Ah. That weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Errand. Not rebels from Asaram, Zenith, and Freaky Machine. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. I was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the, uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called the asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. Any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. <laughs> Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I 
I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So, exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. All this stuff. I wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things. Yeah. For their own. That sounds it. about right. Find anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um, how is Erin taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus, it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the dawn and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. The control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Containers in storage. 
Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 230... Six? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Still alive. We need to get her back to. Oh shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl and the clone. Things quick.
have enough stamina yet. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through the wall on the cliff.
anything. See if it has any weak spots. Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Aloy! Ah! Aaron! Yeah, the specter's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Erend. Erend, I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. The second you need me, I'm there. 
Hector's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. against the Spectre. some damage. She's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. I can figure out how that thing works. Maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. I wonder how much snow is gonna pile up. I 
I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Welcome back. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah, I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment, I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better check on the clone before I head back out there. Yes. She retreated to the maintenance corridor directly below us. Varl is with her. Right. Thanks, Gaia. Gaia? What is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but... The drones aren't connected anymore. I think I can reconnect some of them already. And it seems like there are more out there. Okay, data module's in. painted their faces with something called Aloy glad you made it back she panicked after waking up and stumbled down here I thought it best to wait for you I'll talk to her hello it's a uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I 
Don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal. Distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So we're dealing with the same far Zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities, so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Guy and I concluded, too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? 
Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Xenus needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but... The only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. How did you escape the Zenith? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the Rebels killed, outside the facility. But Thanis dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. And I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The easy... Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship, an updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and uh, Aspasia, th the avatars of the Archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database, before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zenith have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... ...just out of reach... ...must have been frustrating. Alright, I think that's enough for now. Do you... ...want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your... your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. 
They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us.
Can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub functions to get. It's a little loud, Aaron. I know. That makes you want to Aloy. Hey, thought I'd uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings. The subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying Burr. She looks like she's barely seen the light of- Varl looks- He's been obsessing over the day. Just the other day we read about mountains high- If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames, they were like a heart. Be- As always. The cycle can be- Of course, Varl- you said you wanted to talk about the land. I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. If we deliver it to the land gods, they're... Oh, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Uh, Aloy, there are more supplies in the chest. Help yourself. Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Purpose the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from.
Be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Sounds like the Danoth could use a hand dealing with if these you rebels. By, you'll miss out on a good trade. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. When this is over, I must return to the hunting ground. This is your opportunity to buy fine goods, Outlander. a nice color. Full stomach fuels the fight.
Stranger, are you looking to trade? to speak to me the name's Zolka have you heard from up north from bleeding mark I'm guessing that's a place one of the desert's villages they send their yield of ash blood so the Vareka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers but it's been a long time since the last supply run too long if you think something happened to them can't you send someone to go check were it up to me but the capital's already dealing with machines, storms, and strip water rations. No one can be spared. You mentioned the village up north sends some supplies to the capital. It's a crimson stone that we grind into powder for our ink. Bleeding Mark has the largest supply. Our soldiers there gather and deliver it to us. In exchange. Die for water. Everyone in the clan depends on the wound in the sand for their water. Capital, an outlying village. But the last delivery of ash blood was with our supplies running low. My face paint will strike fear in your enemy. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village, find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. 